Well, all right, obviously, I don't really need to introduce myself because you have come to my channel to see Nick the Van Man content. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk into the camera the whole time because Austin told me I'm talking to friends even though I think it's just a Chinese cell phone. I'll try to learn by his zeal and go along with it. So a lot of people have asked me about what I'm running at No Name Nationals. I will be drag racing a 1987 Chevrolet Astro. And a few people have asked me about the budget small block I'm putting together for it. And here it is. It is a 1987 305 TBI engine, so LG4 block. Uh, I think it was actually a leftover block from 86 because it does not have provisions for a hydraulic roller camshaft from the factory like a lot of them did. So I think it's probably just a leftover 86 block. But I honed it myself. It's staying standard bore. Uh, the machine shop just hot tanked it, magnafluxed it, did freeze plugs, cam bearings, all that. Uh, the decks are in good shape. The bores checked out to be good. They're all round, nothing wrong with that, all well within spec. Um, keeping it cheap, it's keeping a factory crankshaft. Uh, I'm just gonna polish it and put it in because it's in great shape. I'm reusing the factory rods and pistons, just gonna clean those up, put iron rings on them, make sure the rings are gapped, put those back in. Uh, the cylinder heads were busted, so I went ahead and got a upgraded pair. These are a hundred dollar pair of heads. Uh, they're clean, so I can just put valve seals in them and roll. Probably, I'll probably do a basic at-home valve job on them. But these are 601s, so they're a 601 code uh, 305 head, so they have a 50cc combustion chamber, closed chamber. They have a 184 intake and a 1.50 exhaust. Not really the best head in the world if you're building a 350 or anything with a lot of cubic inches, but. For a mild 305, it's cheap compression, and it's anything is better than a factory squirrel port head. Um, pretty much as far as rebuilding, it's mostly stock components. Uh, I'm going with a camshaft that I had custom ground at Delta Camshaft. Uh, my friend John, John Bodwell, who owns the company, grinds all of my camshafts. It's done probably the past three or four vehicles I've built. Um, this is a custom grind, like I said, it's 212, 212 at 50 on duration. Lift is 440, 440 with a 1.5 to one rocker. And I had it ground on a 108 degree lobe separation angle to increase low end torque and mid range power. And also to kind of crutch the poor cylinder pressure because these engines are only eight and a half to one. So between the 52 cc chambers on the heads, I should get this thing up to nine and a half to one. And the 108 is gonna build really good cylinder pressure. So the power band of this engine, I'm wanting it to make power from you know, idle to like 4,800, because I'm gonna race it and drive with stock shift points. So it's gonna shift probably around 4,500 RPM. Uh, one reason I've been using the Delta camshafts, I've yet to have one go flat like everybody has problems with, because A, the camshafts are good cores and they do a really good job. The lifters are all good and they actually check all these lifters out before they ship them. They make sure the faces are machined correctly and they also cut a notch in the lifter body to where it actually has direct oiling to the uh, cam lobe and the face of the lifter. I've used several sets of these, have yet to have anything fail. But as far as basic goals, once this engine's together, you'll be seeing that within the next week or so, I'll be putting it all together. Uh, this engine is pretty unremarkable to a lot of people, but I've built several high-end engines and honestly, if you want to see a five or 600 horsepower engine build, they're doing them every day on, online. You can see that anywhere. Um, everybody has an engine with a thousand horsepower now. That's nothing exotic. Hasn't been exotic probably for 15 years with the popularity of the LS, the rise of uh, affordable turbocharging and power adders. So basically, the reason I'm building what I'm building for the No Name Nationals is I feel that the community and that event specifically is aimed at like the every man, every woman type deal. So I'm trying to build something that kind of reflects that. This is something anybody can do. 305s are literally free or nearly free. You can get them anywhere for nothing. Um, and they're very plentiful. Like for every 350 you find, you can find 10 305s. You know, it used to be the 307, which was around, but those are all just about gone. So that's why I'm building what I'm building. Um, once this engine's together, I'm thinking it's going to be around nine and a half to one compression, so it still should run okay on 87 octane gas. Uh, it's going to hopefully make 265 to 270 horsepower. 
I'd love it to make 300 to the crank, but that's probably not realistic with only 440 lift and the intake rudder volume on those cylinder heads, but you know, I'll take whatever I can get. I'm hoping it does make in the neighborhood of like 320 to 330 foot pounds of torque below 3000 RPM. Um, it should have really good drivability because I plan on driving the vehicle from Nashville to Sykeston and back. So it's gonna run pump gas to and from. It's never gonna get race gas even when I race it. And I'm racing in bracket anyway, so I don't need to spend this thing to six grand. But that's basically uh, the engine I'm gonna be putting together for it. And then I will be going over within the next week, probably everything going in the transmission because the transmission is still in the van. I'm building the existing 700R4 to go back in it. So I'll be doing a video going over that. Um, and I'll be going over a video on the vehicle here pretty soon too. But this will probably be the first video you see. So if you don't mind, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm really close to 500 subs. Um, I've already paid and pre-registered doing it like everybody else, not asking for any favors. I just need 500 subs. So until then, appreciate it. Y'all take it easy.